Now, back on the cafe today is naturopath and entrepreneur Lani Lopez. Welcome, Lani. Thank you. Now, we've all heard of natural ingredients in store bought makeup, but today you're actually going to teach us how we can make some of these things at home ourselves. Well, it's just that things are so expensive. So, if we actually buy the ingredients, instead of buying a lipstick, say, $26 to $50, yeah. we can make them from $2 to $5. Wow. And also, the fact is, is that there are a lot of chemicals in some things that we buy, and that's obviously going to leach into our skin. So, we want to keep things as natural as we possibly can. Well, well, we all have natural beauty. Yeah. I mean, we're miracles. But we we're just are. just talking about yeah. enhancing a little bit. You know? Yeah, good. So what are we going to make first? Some bronzer? I'm going to make the bronzer. So first of all, you use um, organic or cocoa powder. And we're just going to use maybe a couple of tablespoons. Okay. It's amazing the colour that actually comes out when you're using it for cosmetics. I was going to say, good. This is uh, a little bit of cinnamon powder. Right. Cinnamon. Why do you put that in there? Well, that's just for shine. Okay. It gives you that nice natural shine and rubbing alcohol. Now, the rubbing alcohol mixes it together. Okay, I was about to say that sounds bizarre. It feels like we're making a cake until you put Here the you go. You mix it up rubbing and alcohol sure in. We've got enough liquid okay. in there. Yeah. Okay, so it's turning it into really nice paste, and then yep. we'll just grab some of that paste, and we're going to shove it in an old container. Okay. I've got an old blusher container. Just want a little bit there. You grab that. Okay. Do you want quite a thick paste? Quite a thick paste because a lot of it is going to actually evaporate. Okay. So there we go. Cocoa, cinnamon, rubbing, rubbing alcohol. alcohol. Right. Then you get a paper towel and you just Squish using this to, to dab away some of the alcohol and to really pack and compress that in. Okay. So once you've pressed it in, right. pop that in your freezer. And here's one you prepared earlier. <laughs> it actually is. <laughs> It's an old lolly tin that I had, and there's oh, your wow. bronzer contour. Do you keep it in the freezer, or do you just um, freeze it for a while? No, no, you just freeze it just to set it, and then once it's set, give it a really good rub. You can try it on my face if you like. I need better cheekbones. If you okay, can. do you want me to try it? Please. Okay. Oh, crikey, no pressure. <gasps> okay, I'm just enhancing your natural beauty, Lani. <laughs> Remember this. Let's have a look. Okay. Wow, it does side, actually. Hang on. It does make quite a difference, doesn't it? Oh, no, that's terrible. Hang on. There we go. Sorry, that was me <laughs> doing a shocking don't job. Don't give me the 80s makeup. Exactly. The I've 80s been there, done so that. in right now. <laughs> Excellent. So we've got the bronzer. Let's move on to the lip balm. What right. happens there? Now, lip balm's fantastic because when you're making your own, you know what's going into it. So we've got coconut oil, right. a bit of glycerine. I bought these all from the health store. Castor oil. And this is cocoa butter. This is actually what goes into chocolate. Great. Mm, it smells beautiful. You could eat it, but it doesn't taste that. It needs more sugar. So what do we need to put in here to okay, make this? Okay, so we're going to pop in a couple of cocoa butters, blocks, mix a bit of glycerine, and that just gives it a bit of shine and helps the mixture. Okay. We're going to... The fact that the cocoa butter is in a block doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go onto our lips. Great, it's great. Yep. And um, when you're mixing these together, you actually make a bain marie. I had to research that mark because I didn't know how to say that. I just knew it was boiling water underneath another right. jar. So imagine that was water yep. and it goes in together. Bain marie. Mm -hmm. Now, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> if you want some colour, you can add red colouring or beetroot powder. I tried it. It's um, not that easy. I actually preferred the crayons, and they're non-toxic. Okay, And they're good. made out of wax too, so you can throw those in. Right. Or if you want to, you can throw some old lipstick. Chuck it all in there. Chuck it all in there. Put it in the bain marie until it all mixes up. And once again? And stir it. Have and we prepared one earlier? We have. Yes, we have. <laughs> Just this like is a what I'd be show. cooking in the kitchen. Oh, beautiful. Oh, Look thanks, Mark. Oh. It smells beautiful over here. It does, doesn't it? Chocolate. That's us. Now, I've customised mine and put rose oil and Rescue Remedy because Rescue Remedy is really good for looking after your lips. Mm. If you're stressed, you could just lick your lips. So away. what we do, so then that, uh, we cool that down and put it into a little container that well, we've had and then that's it. Here's a little container. Pop that in there and you pop that together. It, take, it takes a bit of um, muscle, so I'm just going to leave that alone And then leave there. it cool. Um, but here's one we prepared earlier. Excellent. Hey, Lani, thank you so much. That's been enlightening. And those recipes we can find, uh, they'll be up on thecafe.co.nz if you so need them.